All right, folks. So I literally just had exalted with the Army of the Light. See that? Okay. I did do the emissary, but that's not the point. I am going to go back to. Oh shoot! This isn't where the portal is. I'm going to go back to Stormwind. Oh, my heart's reset. I could just use that. I'm gonna go back to Stormwind and I'm going to do the unlock scenario for the first time. I have not done it before. I haven't watched anyone else do it. I specifically have avoided watching un the unlock scenario videos and stuff from different people because I wanted to do it on my own and I unlocked it on my own. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing right now. And I thought I'd record it because you know, there's not, oh shoot, I gotta return this quest. They're daily, and it's almost tomorrow. Just kidding. It's only it's in like two hours. It's fine. Time okay. Is money, friend. I just really I want that mount. Have a good one. I mean, I'm on my way. It's good. Anyway, so <laughs> as if there isn't enough people uh, doing Battle for Azeroth stuff, I am a channel that isn't usually gaming, and I'm doing tons of Battle for Azeroth stuff. Um, but the thing is, I'm just super duper hyped for it, is why. I'm just so excited. Oh, there's the em Embassy. Is that what it's called? Emissary? No, Emissary Quest. Embassy built. Yeah, Embassy. Embassy! Ugh. Wait, where's that one petable dog? <gasps> Hi! Hi! <laughs> That's so pointless, but so good. Oh, shoot. Hey. Anduin! Anduin? Honestly, that the Battle for Azeroth cinematic made me feel like so much better about Anduin. Because, I don't know, this is going to sound dumb, but I like have lore that I make up in my head for all of my characters. Just like inadvertently, like I don't try to make it up. It just is the way it is. Um, and I had lore with Varian on my old uh, Draenei Hunter. I know that sounds so dumb. That, and it is dumb. It is kind of dumb. Oh, I want to do a Void Elf so bad, but my Argosian Reach is lacking, but it's fine. And I just love, um, oh, what was I, that was not what I was going to say. I, anyway, um, I like Anduin now a lot more than after the, anim an uh, <laughs> the Battle for Azeroth uh, animation. It's really good animation, by the way, and I think, you know, I'm not gonna lie, Anuin's pretty attractive, and I feel for him because he's, like, one of those guys, he, like, wants peace over war, and that's the way I've always been playing this game, when <laughs> I, 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 I always, like, I, before I knew much about the game, I always tried to communicate with Horde players, even though, you know, it's impossible because you don't speak the same language. I, I, you know, I, I can relate to him. Anyway. Stormwind Hi, Exoptoralion. And Delirio Rinwana have come forth to suggest, to suggest potential allies to add to our ranks. These heroes have dedicated their lives to defending our world, and I put great faith in the council. You have been a stalwart champion of the Alliance, Feld. I entrust you to choose which course we pursue first. Hear what they have to say and make your decision. Then let me know which ally you believe you we should pursue first. I don't know what has to be a decision. Why can't we just pursue both at the same time? You know, whatever. Anyway. I have to talk to Illyria. Greetings. What do we know about Void Elves? And what whatever. It doesn't really matter what I know about Void Elves because I can't do one. But they're so cool! Like, and I love them so much! Anyway. Um, anyway. The army of the Here's what we're actually here for. Ready. Light Force Draenei. For family. Fighting a long, bitter war against the Burning Legion, these Draenei soldiers were infused with the Holy Light to become living weapons of... Weapons. <laughs> Victorious at last, these Lightforged stand ready to defend Azeroth. There it is. Um, I, I'm going to make, once I do this, I'm going to make a Lightforged Draenei Hunter. Because it's going to be like a continuation of the lore of my old Hunter on the account I used to use, which was a shared account, which is why I don't have it anymore, and I had to start from scratch. It's going to be a continuation, because that was my first ever character, that was my main character, a hunter. I rolled the hunter because it looked like it was going to be easy because I had a pet. Turns out it actually is like one of the easiest classes in the game. Um, but it's going to be like a good situation, like, I always, yeah, anyway, you don't care. Anyway, <laughs> Sometimes we must fight I'm ready to pursue. We believe in. Oh, I wonder which one I'll choose. Hmm, 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 hmm. This one. I know that, it's not even difficult. 
Okay. Stormwind Your wisdom is always appreciated, Felt. The choice you make today will strengthen the alliance. Except Peralian! He has a son, and he doesn't really talk to him. It's fine. Felt, you have seen what my people are capable of firsthand. We've been forged over millennia as specialists against the Legion. Now, I believe it is time to take up arms alongside our brothers and sisters of the Alliance. Join us at the Vindicar. I believe we have much to discuss with Captain Faria. I was just there, dude! Oh my god. Dionys I am eager for the Light Forge to join the Alliance. Turalyon. Bring our champion with you to the Vindicar, so that you may address your troops together. It will be done. Be vigilant. Okay. This way, champion. Victory in the light. Are we gonna go together? Is he gonna take me there, or do I have to get there by myself? Because I remember Three. when I... I need a beacon to the Vindicar. Oh, okay, good. He's At taking... once, High Exarch. Oh, she's so pretty. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, I don't need clothes and Berkey in my ear right now. Wait, is that beacon permanent? Because that would be amazing if that beacon was permanent. Like, will that always be there? Oh, I highly doubt it. Okay. Oh, for a second I thought I Illidan did not was there. I expect you back so soon, High Exarch. I assume your meeting with the king went well? Indeed. He is eager to have the Army of the Light fighting on the side of the Alliance. Assemble our forces, Captain, and I will make the announcement. You ah. know how fond I am of your speeches, but can it wait? We were just about to send these initiates to undertake the trials. Ah, well, this is excellent time, champion. You can see firsthand Ooh. what it means for a soldier to become light force. Oh, I always wonder what that means. Proceed, meant. Faria. Oh, shoot. Awesome. Do you have some Welcome, Feld. You are about to bear witness to a ritual none but the members of the Army of the Light have seen. Oh, I'm so excited! I'm so excited. I I know a lot of people weren't very excited for Lightforge Draenei, but I am because my old main was a Draenei hunter, and this is I'm going to think of this as a continuation of her lore. She decided to become Lightforge because she wanted to be more powerful against Legion or whatever. Anyway, oh, I'm so excited. Okay. <gasps> the Light Force has long stood as a beacon of hope against the Legion, but few truly know what it takes to become the embodiment of Light's wrath. These few champions among the Army of the Light are ready to undergo their final trial. Will you... <laughs> Will you honor the bearing... Will you do us the honor of bearing... Okay. I couldn't see that. <gasps> oh. My fellow soldiers. Oh, why is it you so have endured our ah. proof that the light shines bright within your heart. Oh, there I am! One final test remains, and it is the most daunting of all. <gasps> it will force you to peer into the very core of what you are, of what you believe yourself to be. What is it? Many worthy Dranai have undergone this trial only to return broken. Oh, so it's dangerous. Should you feel the oh. slightest doubt, turn back now. It will be oh, counted shoot. as I didn't realize this was so hardcore. Cowardice. But if you are truly ready, step forward and embrace your fate. Hopefully my in-game volume is much better than my last video. Anyway. We have discussed this. Each initiate must be accompanied by a second. Where is yours? He needs a second. Vardos needs no one to I'll, I'll be a second. The last initiate who attempted the trial alone came back in pieces. Choose a second or head back to the barracks. He needs a so be it. The Vardos shall bring uh, this puny one. Hey, I I'm not old An unorthodox choice, oh. but okay. technically within the rules. Okay, but I, I have like the opposite of the light. I have fell in me. <laughs> Okay, sorry. Let the trial be Light be with you both. Light be with you both. Did he just scream his name? Okay, that's interesting. He's a little bit of an egomaniac. It's fine. Oh, I have to go with them. It's fine. Also, look at my Valentine's Day dress. I think it looks so cool because it shows off my, like, tattoos. Anyway. Anyway, not that you care. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go! Teleport to scenario. 
Oh, Varian's dead. It makes me so sad. And says Anduin though. Not as sad as Anduin. <laughs> I hate loading screens. You should know something, friend. The Partos did not choose you because of your puniness. Oh. The Partos saw your heart on the field of uh -uh. You are the bravest hero to Partos has no, ever seen. No, I was just the one closest to you. the architect Dumbass. of memories. The Partos remembers a place like this. Okay, now you're gonna start running. Interesting choice. <laughs> There is no kindness here. Other children were not always kind to Tepartos. He looked just like every other. God, Tepartos yeah. thinks he knows what, what little Tepartos might do. Look, I can walk cool too, you know. Whatever. Stop talking in third person. Swamp Toad. Face the fist I'm out of of oh, Tepartos is not very strong at all. Here's your artifact weapon, huh? Research for some. I don't have a target. It is too far away. Where's your artifact weapon? Is your artifact level 75 yet, huh? Tartos? Huh? Goddamn. Goddamn, goddamn. Oh. Is this him? Departos made friends with Critter. Or the light! Dang it! Okay, just wait, you need to think. He sends the critters, frogs, Ellis, bugs, but not snakes, never snakes. Oh, okay. Perhaps there's no relief. <gasps> is there a I don't understand why this is so hard to Cartos. Why do you need a second? Oh wait, he didn't want a second. It's the other lady that made it. Okay, Freya, maybe she's right. She seems pretty level-headed. <laughs> I need to get closer. Retreat deeper. Find safety. Find this is a comfort. swamp. It doesn't seem very safe. Where are you going? We want to stay on the path to Partos! To Partos! No! When Tepartos was scared, he found a place to hide. Oh, a place to hide, Partos. Distraction provides escape. Oh, Tepartos remembers a place like this one. A time he dug too deep. Oh yeah, that's what I thought was gonna happen. God damn, okay. Okay, well this happens all the time, okay? High Mountain trolled me several times, okay? You're not special to Partos, okay? Enemies lurk within every shadow. Can this darkness be stopped? I wonder if becoming Light Forged hurts. Or maybe it only hurt Illidan. Or maybe it didn't even hurt him, he just meant it. to walk this path? Is Tepartos worthy to become Lightforged? Why are you running in circles? Are you following me? Or... I... I can't... Oh, okay. Here's a fear. Let's defeat that, I guess. Don't touch Tepartos! I am the one... I'm the tank, I can take the beating, not him. You better not. No, um... I wonder if being light forged hurts, or if it's the only reason... I mean, I don't know if it hurt Illidan when, um, Zara was, uh, trying to force the light into him, or if he just didn't want it, but I imagine if it did hurt, it could have been just because he has so much fell in him. But I also feel like it might just hurt, period, because even it just is so much power, you know? I don't know. Maybe that's why she said that some of the don't make it, because it's just so much power that it can, like, literally just kill you, even if it is the light. And that's the thing, um, I don't think the light is always right. Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> the light isn't always right. 
Um, I feel like people uh, follow the light without question, um, even though it may be not always the right. Like, I mean, I, Zara definitely wasn't in the right when she tried to force the light onto Illidan. Um, which is actually, I mean, I know this has been said already, for sure, but it's reminiscent of rape. Um, yeah. So, I, the light definitely doesn't always know what's best, which is my theory. It's just like, just because it's the light doesn't mean that it's the right. Um, it's just like a different, like, power source to tap into, I guess. Um, and... I mean, I could be completely wrong. I don't know all the lore. Anyway, there's another power source that can be for good or bad. What are you doing? There what? is solitude the answer. No one can hurt you if you remain alone. Walking faster than me. Oh, god damn it. It is insane. Kapartos! Come back! Kapartos is down over here! Kapartos! Oh my god, Kapartos. Kapartos! Kapartos, you motherfucker! Oh my god. You're seriously just gonna leave me here, you fucking... Oh wait, did he go back? Kapartos, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for calling you a motherfucker. I was kidding, I was kidding, I didn't realize you were coming back for me. Kapartos, you're not a motherfucker, you're worthy, you're worthy to be light for me, okay? So, no, it's okay, you're worthy. I, I'm sorry I said that. <laughs> Oh, now you gotta go back and discover it. Okay, I'm sorry, Tepartos. Goddamn. Okay. Safe. Secure. Away from everyone. Oh, that's what she said about the other cave. Everything. Um, that's kind of spooky. I don't like that. I need to get close. Yeah, I mean, of course the fell can corrupt people, but I feel like it's also just another source of power. Um, that can be used for good or for bad. Um, it's just the nature of it can be like blinding the people and they can become blinded by power. I think Illidan's a very interesting character, for sure. One of my favorite ones is Expansion. Um, but yeah, it made me sad that he stayed on Argus. Spoilers, but I mean, this is spoilers. So fine. Is that for me? Partos? <laughs> when you click on it, he just says his name. <laughs> I love how he speaks in the third person. There is respite. Spite? Respite? Did he just call that respite? The map of this place. Ooh. Follow the partos. No, to partos! America, I am something. Why is this one <laughs> Kansas? But this one is not our country. Explain America. <laughs> uh, anyway. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I've got some more confusion. Yeah. Tapardo, you fucker. He's like, for, like to pretend that he doesn't see me. Because he thinks that if he just pretends I don't exist, then he won't have to... Oh my god, Tepartos! Tepartos! You are such an asshole! Oh, maybe you don't deserve to be like this. You're leaving me behind. Oh my god. You're so weak, Tepartos. Oh my god, do I have to do everything myself? Oh great, now there's an alluring flower. That's cool. Fuck I you. I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate you. I hate you. I hope you know, you goddamn flower. I hate you. I hope you know that. No! No! Freaking flower! I've been getting some lovely charms. Fantos! Okay, yeah, sure, your name's kinda cool, but I don't even have to keep, like, just don't wear it out, dude. Oh, look, there's more of them. Pardos, come on. Check out your game. You should rob the artifacts. What? I'm so confused. The light is weird. The light is definitely very weird. 
I'm just gonna stick to my felt. Thank you, Mary Rex. Like, it's very predictable. <laughs> Oh. At least the spell is I mean, Demon Hunter's kind of proof that the spell isn't just a bad magic. I don't think there really is a bad magic. It's just magic that can be easier to be used. This Departos is pledged to the light, yet treats with the darkness. This cannot be Departos' fate. No! The darkness will not claim Departos! Um because certain magic might be easier to turn to dark purposes than others. But I don't think that that means that that magic is dark itself. Come on, Taparsa. This is a lot longer than the Nightborn one. Already. The longest part of the Nightborn scenario was the... was literally just the travel to get to fucking silver mine. Because it's so out of the way. I can't attack that Go to Pardos, let's go. To Pardos, please just learn to pass out of the way of mob. For the love of God. I'm out. Okay, let's go to Pardos. Demented. Me. Same. We have to find some kind, some brave. Oh, shit. I almost just fucked myself. Oh, Tapardos, no! Oh god, Tapardos. He's kind! Oh, he's getting away with it! Or Elec, I guess. Tapardos raised this Elec when its mother was killed. We have some demented over here. <laughs> hey, don't look, don't pay attention to the part of this. This is for me. It's already been 22 minutes. Okay, well, I did talk a little bit before we started, so I mean, I guess that doesn't count. Wow, I'm getting a lot of lovely drums from this. I mean, I can't complain. Oh, wow. Target it's something brave to Partos. He's gonna fight all these, or er, these things. He's burning fiends. Departos has faced many such fiends in the army of the light. Oh my god, Departos, I don't need to brag. I feel like he's gonna pull this if I don't. So might as well. Departos! I don't have a target. Hopefully the in-game sound is better than it was before. What is this? Strong, Departos. But you're not even doing anything. <laughs> but you aren't lifting it, you're just leaning on it. God damn it, Departos. You really are a numbskull, huh? I guess I guess even the army of the light needs mindless drones. I'm just kidding, Departos. You don't need to be sad. I was just kidding. You're cool. You're a cool guy. Boastful, Departos. I don't think that that's necessarily a good trait. I mean, it can be good to take pride in yourself, but they're laughing at you, Teparto. <laughs> You're not impressed. This is slightly embarrassing for Tepartos. Oh yeah, you just noticed that. Are you serious? It's a spider, dude. There's nothing fake about a spider. Spiders are a thing, dude. Oh my god, you are so fucking annoying. Get back here, Teparto. you asshole. Yeah, you call yourself brave, Teparto. Yeah, right. Oh. Guess you're not brave. You're scared. Oh, you don't want snakes. Can you make the snakes go away? Oh. He likes creatures besides snakes. Wow. Cool. Okay. I'm out. Dude, you have to you can't just pull shit and then not inadequate. Oh, the portals. Oh, no. I need to get clear. This is inadequate. Okay, this is too real. Now I'm like relating to Cardos on a personal level. Ooh. Not gonna lie, my eyes got a little watery because like I can relate to this on a personal level. Okay, anyway. <laughs> no, 
This is not real. This cannot be the true Tepartos. Well, see, the true Tepartos is like a mix of everything. You have to have the good and the bad. Does the path lead to greatness? Oh no. You cannot stop the All these mechanics, I can probably kind of ignore them. I'm pretty OP at this point. Could become an Aridai. Interesting. You could get a couple of, uh, actually, like a foot taller Cardo. So if you join the, if you join the Legion, you can get taller. I can't attack that target. <gasps> Tepardos! Yes. Give in. No, Tepardos, don't give in to the Legion. Embrace true power. Enough. The light has always been with Tepardos. Good job. He will Tepardos. Oh, good job, Tepardos. <gasps> oh, he's life forged. Something of Tepardos. Oh, good job. Oh yeah, good job, buddy boy. You're cool. Tepardos, I'm so glad I helped you. Good job. Greetings. Tepardos is enthusiastic. He means well, and he has a fire within him that few even among the Lightforge possess. Thank you for keeping him safe, Nightdale. Welcome back, Tepardos. Tepardos, you confronted your fear your failings, and have been reborn. We all have darkness inside us. It is no easy thing to face. Tepartos realizes this now. This is an official ceremony. Do not interrupt. Tepartos is sorry. Oh my god, so such an You are light force. Well, yeah, you can tell. Fetas dones gamer. Light guide our path. Tepartos! Oh, shut up. Tepartos is a bit unconventional, but he will serve our cause well. Tepartos, you're so weird. Champion, it is time for us to return to Stormwind. Maria, spread the word. The Light Forge now well, fight for the Alliance. They kind of did before, anyway. We, we stand together. The Light Forge. Oh, he's not. Okay. The Light Forge Drenai will be happy to join the Alliance. Our cause is now yours, Feld. Let us return to Stormwind. Captain Faria will speak with our people. Oh, for a second I was like, I'm Hound? And then I remember, yeah. Light yeah okay, no. Uh, wait, what did he say? Do I have to, like, um, does this go back to Stormwind? God damn it! Why do they always leave me to travel? Oh, wait. No. What? Oh, there's one. Okay. <laughs> I was... They left you to travel everywhere yourself for the Nightborn one, and it kind of pissed me off a little bit. It's like, if you can teleport everywhere, why can't I? It's, <laughs> it's where the Dalaran portal is. Okay, good thing I didn't just try and get out of there myself. That would have been... Okay, yeah, not good. Daggy. <laughs> Anduin! Oh, I love how he looks in the cinematic. Anyway. The stories of the Lightforged echo throughout the streets of Stormwind. An army of elite soldiers dedicated to fighting the Legion. They will be one of our strongest allies. Be vigilant. Hi, King Rin. Yeah! The army of the Light is pledged to defend the Alliance. The strength of the Lightforged is most welcome in our ranks, High Exarch. I have fought beside these Draenei in the Twisting Nether for a thousand years. How old you are you? You will find no soldiers who are more skilled or more loyal. Both these qualities will be needed in the days to come. And thank you for your part in bringing them to our cause, Champion. For the Alliance. For the Alliance. For the Alliance. Is that it? Okay, cool. 
I can go check out the sweet mount. It's just an Alec though, pretty much, isn't it? Let's see. What's it called? Light forged. Oof. Light forged bell crusher. Okay, yeah, it does look pretty cool. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's just a night elf now. I was like, what? Let's try this out. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing special. I mean, it's the same aesthetic we've seen for a while on Argus, but it is pretty cool. It does have slightly different sound effects than just your average one of the mill Alex, so that's good. Oh, whoa. It, se it feels faster than normal Alec. Maybe it's just the way the animation is, because I know, like, different mounts feel faster or slower depending on their animations, you know? Maybe you don't. <laughs> All right, let's go check it out. So I heard that you can only create allied races on a server if you have a max level character, but, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Um, but I don't know if that's true, so we're just gonna test that out really fast. Look, this is the other guy I'm leveling. Because your realm doesn't really matter at, the point, at this point in the game unless you're doing like, uh, unless you care about certain, anyway. So, I just wanted to have it on this realm, so that I could have the same name as my old one. Oh, it's so cool. I wonder if they'll stop me. Let's see. Are these skin colors? They look... Okay, well... Okay, they are different. I want this one. I want the darker one. The face. Oh, I think I know... What I've looked through this. I think I know which face I want. Oh yeah, I want this one. This is the same one I used to have. Hairstyle. This is hard because they all look really good. I like the hair a lot. I like the bright. Like I just like their set. Oh, this one's cute. Oh, and you can see the whole horn. Oh, dude, they have pointy ears? Dre and I have pointy ears? For some reason, I thought Dre and I didn't even have ears. So this is uh, quite the revelation. Oh, wait. They all have that? Or is that just because of the hairstyle? Oh, that's weird. The hairstyles give you a little thing right there. Okay. Um, I kind of like this one. It's cute. It's functional. It keeps the hair out of your face when you're shooting shit. Yeah, I like that. So, there's basically different shades of white and then gold. Ooh, I can't decide. I can't decide between the gold and the bright white. I think I'm gonna go for gold for now, because I, I mean, I can always recolor it if I have barber, so it's not a big deal. Horn style. Oh, where's that one? Oh, yeah. But that's kind of the one Freya had. But there's also that one. I think I like this one with this hairstyle right now. Oh, the tattoos. Oh, good. At least it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that sounded gross and perverted. <laughs> Uh, when I was testing this out, because you can, like, see the customization stuff without actually having unlocked, you just can't actually make it. It wasn't taking the clothes off for the tattoo part, so you couldn't, like, see the different tattoos. You just had to look at this tiny little picture, and even then it didn't really help. Okay, so that's nice. That's nice. Okay, so this one doesn't have any glowy parts. So the gold tattoos are the same no matter what, right? Yeah, okay. So this has nothing, which is not what I'm going to pick. This has... Ooh, it's got, like, leg stuff. Which you can't see in the little thing right here anyway so that's cool it's got like it's i like the yeah okay this is less so so far this has the most like overall and this one has more like down here oh i think see slut mogs will actually be uh what do you call it Warranted, warranted with this model because then you'll be able to see like, wow, all this it looks so cool. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be getting slut mogs for this, by the way. Um, anyway, oh the rune. Okay, I definitely want one. I don't want to go without. So the question is, um, what one? What shape do I like the best? Hmm. I like this one, circle-y. I need a name. Let's see, Samantha. That 
that was the name of my old hunter. Oh, sorry. The nostalgia made me go quiet for a second. <sighs> if it lets me make this, I will be so fucking happy. You have no idea. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay, I have to find a clever spin-off of that same name. Samantha. Is my good. <gasps> oh, it looks so cool. Oh shit. Okay, I'm just going to quickly do the little like introduction. If it's anything like the Nightborn, I mean, of course it's gonna happen to have an introduction, so we're just gonna do that really fast, and then I'll just cut off this video, because I don't want to level tonight, it's late, and I have had a busy day. <clears throat> we are soldiers. Through millennia of struggle, the light has shown us the true path, and in turn, we have been reborn as instruments. How come they have cool clothes and I don't? Against the darkness. <sighs> but to those who would threaten this world, or accept like my own character, yes. you will embody the light's wrath. Oh, cool. I haven't. I have heirlooms, huh? Yeah, I have some heirlooms. I think I bought hunter heirlooms a while ago. Um, my talent. Oh wait, shit. Is this the right? I want to be. I want to be beastmaster. Okay, I am. Okay. <laughs> okay. What? Are these all passive? Okay, I'll deal with them later. Okay, I'll deal with them later. The light prevails. The army of the light was founded with one purpose: to defeat the legion. Though we have achieved that goal, a new duty lies before us. Azeroth is a world beset by enemies. Use your training to battle the darkness and uphold the ideals of the Alliance. Go to Stormwind, seek the King's ambassadors at the Embassy, then set out. Spread the light's justice across the land. Ferrathones Gamera, Samantha. Is that like a better language? The light forged fought demons in the twisting nether. The Zenadar was the only home we knew. Now, for the first time in ages, we can walk beneath a no. sky, not befouled by the Legion's madness, and feel the earth under our hooves again. <laughs> but we must not grow complacent. One war ends, the next begins. Such is the life of a soldier. Is that it? You didn't talk Your duty nope. begins in storm. <gasps> oh, I'm just so excited. Explore this world of Azeroth. Get to know the people and places we have sworn to defend. And always walk in the light. Samantha. <laughs> okay, don't get me wrong. Um, I was extremely excited for the, uh, what do you call that? <laughs> the Nightborn. But when I realized that Lightforge Drenai could be a, like, an extension of my old lore, I was just, oh, I was so happy. Oh, what am I doing? Airbins. No, I want, can I, okay, which ones are the ones for the, okay. Yeah, I know that's the, that's the one. Yeah. This is the one, right? Yeah. I'm just, I can't, I'm trying to remember. I know what they look like. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And then shoes and stuff is, oh wait, my weapon, my weapon. What the crap? Um. Where's my weapon? I oh it's right there. Wait. Oh it's it's was there the whole time. Duh. Okay. Dumbass. All right. I don't care. I don't care. I'm gonna look fly as fuck. And I'm definitely going to transmog the, hel the helmet off. 
because I want it kind of looks dumb anyway and I want to see my beautiful and the cape so then I can see my tap tattoos oh and when you walk ah you can see the golden hooves okay 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 I want to do the rest of the story quest before I log out who 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 you start out with one gold good to know oh wait it's underneath. Oh my god, and I'm not a demon hunter, so I can't jump through the stairs. I've only done Arcus on my demon hunter, partly because I, the mobility. Like, I just... Because you can, like, glide down the stairs, and you can't do that on any other character. <laughs> it's so weird to be in the Vindicar, but only be level 20. It's just named Stag. Okay, I'm gonna have to find a better name for you eventually. Um... I know I haven't spent down points, I don't want to deal with it right now. Oh, hi. Greetings. What have we here? One of our, the famed Light Forge Draenei. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for your service against the Legion Samantha, a truly inspiration. Well, I was just born, I haven't done anything. How does this look? Oh, it actually looks pretty nice, I like it. Welcome, friend. I am King Anduin Actually, Rick. hold up, I'll see that in a second. Welcome to Storm and Lightforge Draenei. King Anduin Rin invites you to explore our fair city. Say, you look like the devout sort. We have a lovely cathedral that will no doubt be of interest. Ah, but that can wait. An emissary of the Lightforge is standing by to tell you the adventures that await beyond the city walls. Have a pleasant stay, Samantha. Oh, and please excuse the occasional mess. I fear many of us citizens lack the discipline of the Army of the Light. Soldiers are so famous for. What do you mean, the mess? Be careful. What are you talking about? It's fine. Oh, whatever. Anyway, let's listen to the letter now. Welcome, friend. I am King Anduin Rin. As a new member of the Alliance, he looks so bad. I wish to greet you personally. A, a light forge may be a recent addition to our ranks, but I know the Draenei well. I am confident you will embody the dedication and courage of the Army of the Light. These are troubled times for Azeroth. In the days to come, you will face many trials, like, like many foes. Know that you are never alone against the darkness, for the Alliance stands with you. I look forward to hearing of your progress. Something tells me we will speak again soon. Safe travels. Oh my god, shut up. May the light be with you, always. Okay, I need to... Is it this one? Oh yes it is. I use this one for my mounts, because I like to click them rather than keybind them. It's fine. I need mounts. My god. Um, well, the Elec, of course. Yeah, that should be my go-to. And I want this one. Other ones will come with time. It's fine. Okay. I gotta finish this, the story. And I also need to transmogify off this hat. Sure, it goes pretty good, uh, it's whatever, but I just don't like it, it's fine. Ah, oh, here it is. Hello. I serve the light. Oh, I found the board. I can do duck squid, bleh. Dusk squid, wetlands, stone town mountains. I think I might do dusk squid. Actually, I don't know. Welcome to this beautiful city, Samantha. I am sure you'll feel as welcome by the other members of the Alliance as I do. I've met a number of city guards, good people, though there are a few things they could learn from us. Okay. We shall see the Legion's um, end. It'd be cool to have a light a light forge drain eye in Duskwood. Okay, um, is there any transmogrifiers at this side of town? Hey. Need help? Uh... Oh, just kidding, there's only one. It's so far away. I haven't had a pet in so long, so this is gonna be something to get used to. I haven't played a drain eye since my... Um, old alt, or not my alt, my old main, what am I saying? Um, so, this is definitely bringing back. 
and it's like a revamped model. It's like a reward for coming back to my beloved race. Like, I, it's my favorite. It really is. But then again, Nightborn is a very, oh, sorry, <laughs> a very close second. I love Nightborn so much. I'm definitely not going to upload this as my Friday video because I've done that too often. I'm just going to upload it sometime during the week. Um, I'm definitely going to make a real video. I'm going to make a real video um, so, uh, this week. Anyway. How much is this going to cost me? Oh, zero? It's zero? To make it hidden? Shit, thanks, dude. Okay. Yeah, and I don't want the cape right now. Right? Yeah, it looks... Oh, dude, it looks way better. I didn't realize it costed nothing. Maybe it's just because of my low level and how little money I have. Damn, girl. Ooh, you look good. Yes. I love it. I love it so much. I love drain eye models, models, because they're definitely the sexiest models of all. Oh, I love it. Oh, I know what else I need to put on my action bar. The Traveler's Tundra Mabbit. <laughs> That's one of the most useful mounts you'll find in the land. <laughs> Their legs just go out when they ride. Ah, I love it so much. I love it so much. I love it so much. Ah. I'm gonna go back to town. I'm gonna go to the town square and show off. I have to have my signature mount, of course. My racial. Gonna go to the trade district. I used to spend a lot of time storm when I still kind of do. Hi guys. I know most people already had Army of the Light exalted, but I just stopped doing Argus. I was burnt out with the game, so I wasn't grinding for anything. I didn't have flying until recently. Um, still have to unlock High Mountain Tarin and Void Elves. That's that's it. So apparently, you don't have to have a one a level 110 on the server to create a. Uh, I I don't know. Like maybe they changed it because I definitely heard that you had to have a level 110 on the server you wanted to create a allied race on, but I don't. So, I guess they must have changed it if it was ever like that. Maybe it's just on like the PT. Actually, it makes no sense. It wouldn't have been on the PTR like that. But, um, anyway, yeah. I am so excited for many reasons. I, d I shouldn't be rambling more. So, you know, if you watched this for any reason, I mean, I'm sure there's better videos, better quality videos. Of people just the scenario no no talking and stuff um but anyway yeah <laughs> i love dread eyes 